Good evening. It's January 23rd, and this is Sequel Dan. And tonight I'm here to answer another question from the Snowflake message boards. And tonight's question comes from a user who has some strings that contains characters that he'd like removed, but not all of the characters. There's only certain conditions where he wants them removed. So this is the the sample data set that he provided right here. And you see we've got five records. And he wants to remove all of the double zeros that are by themselves. So you see we got one in the first row. And we've got a couple in the second row. The third row is nothing but double zeros. But the tricky ones are down here in the last row where we have a double zero that needs to be removed, but we also have a 100 and a 1,000 that need to be left intact, even though they contain double zeros. As we look down here at the expected output, we can see that that 100 and the 1,000 are still there in that one. So that's going to be one of the two tricks that we have. And, um, well... The other one is going to be the fact that when we remove the double zero, we also are going to have to remove the comma. Now, there's a couple of answers that were posted on there that were trying to do some tricky things with, uh, with array functions. But I think that the solution to this is actually much simpler and can be solved with regular expressions. So that's what I'd like to do tonight is to demonstrate just how we can do this with a regular expression. And I think you'll see that it's pretty darn easy. So here we go. I've uh, created a table, and I've loaded in the data that the user provided. So these are the same, the same five records that we saw before. And I'm going to step you through the regular expression. So instead of just going straight to the end, what I'm going to do instead is I'd like to walk through it step by step so that it makes sense to you. Now, regular expressions are generally pattern matching. And I intend at some point down the road to do at least a couple of videos explaining um, some how to use regular expressions and some really cool uses for them within the database. But I think this data cleanup exercise is a pretty good one to demonstrate it on as well. There's four or five different regular expression functions that are available in Snowflake. Um, one of them just does a Boolean uh, return to tell you whether or not there's a match and another one actually returns the match or matches um, this one that I'm using tonight though is called regular expression replace and what it does is if there's a match on the pattern that you provide then it replaces it with whatever you'd like to replace it with okay so the syntax on it works like this we first provide the field or the you know, the location of the string that needs to be evaluated. And in this case, it's a field in the table. So I'm going to put that right there and say my field. Okay. And then there are two more arguments after that, that, well, there's actually, there's also some, some um, optional arguments that we're not going to go into tonight, but we'll at least talk about the two mandatory ones here. All right. And uh, the first one is the one where we're going to provide the regular expression pattern, and the last one is what we're going to replace it with. Okay, now the pattern is a var car in and of itself, so it needs to be inside of single quotes. These single quotes are not part of the pattern. If we needed to have a single quote in the pattern, that would have to be an additional single quote, and that sometimes gets pretty ugly as well. But uh, for this one, we don't need to worry about that. We just need to have the single quotes. And we have to say, what's the pattern of characters that we're looking for? And in this case, the pattern is pretty simple. It's just two zeros together. All right. And then the last one, as I mentioned, was what are we going to replace it with? Now, when we get to the end of it, we're going to find the double zeros and we're going to replace it with nothing. But for the purposes of getting started and to make it more clear to you, for the moment, I'm going to replace every double zero with two X's instead. All right. And so let's run this and let's see how well it does. And oh, I left a stray comma there. All right. Let's try it again. Let's see if it does better this time. There we go. Okay, so we can see the values from my field still, and we can see what regular expression replace did with all of my zeros. And the first one looks good. It found the two zeros, and it um, replaced them with x's. 
The next one found the two zeros both times and replaced them with x's. The third one replaced with x's. But the problem is this fifth record down here where the 100, the zeros got replaced, and in the 1,000, the zeros got replaced. And so that's not what we wanted to do. We're going to have to make the regular expression a little bit tighter so that it still picks up the zeros that we want, but doesn't pick up the zeros that we don't want. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to say, let's find wherever two zeros are following a comma. All right, and let's run this one. Now this one is much more selective. And let's first of all take a look at the fifth record down here. We can see that because the two zeros have to be directly after a comma, neither the 100 or the 1000 were touched. And the double zeros after that were changed, and so that's good. On the third row, only the second of the two sets of double zeros were, were replaced because only the second one of the two follows a comma. The first one wasn't replaced, and we have that same problem in the second record where one set was and the other one wasn't. So in all the places where there's leading double zeros, now the pattern isn't picked it up because it's more restrictive. So there's a couple of ways to attack it, and we could write a pretty complicated pattern in order to do that, but there's a really simple solution here that we can do instead of messing with it anymore. We already know that it's finding all the ones that we want it to find, except for the ones where it's at the beginning. And so if we simply concatenate to the front of our pattern, of our field, I mean, we now have comma my field on every record, okay? And so those double zeros that are at the beginning are now following a comma. And everything else should still be identical. And we can see that it is, and it has found all of these places where uh, the zeros are leading and the ones that are internal, and it has not messed with the ones that we didn't want to mess with. So I think this is the pattern that we want to go with, and uh, we're one step closer to getting this thing solved. Now, we still have a little bit of a problem with the commas, and I'll show you that here in just a second. Uh, but what I'm going to do right now is instead of replacing it with double X's, I'm simply going to replace it with nothing. So every time it finds comma zero zero, it will replace that with nothing. And we can see that all of the zero zeros that we wanted to have removed have been removed. And all the ones that we didn't want to have removed have not been removed. The only problem that we have now is that every single one of these begins with a comma. Some of them are beginning with a comma because we stripped out the two zeros that were at the front and we have the comma that was already in the string. And others of them, like this bottom one and like record number four, have a comma because I concatenated it in in front of it. But in either case, they all now start with a comma, and we don't want the comma on any of them. But if we can just find a way to get rid of those commas, we've basically solved the problem. And luckily, there's a super simple way to get rid of the commas at the beginning, which is simply to use yet another regular expression. So I'm going to use regular expression replace once again. Okay, But now, instead of passing in a field name, I'm going to pass in this entire expression that we just worked on. Okay, so this the results of this expression are now going to be what's going to be passed to the outer regu regular expressions replace. And again, I have two arguments that are needed after that, so let's uh, go ahead and put those in place, at least put the placeholders. And now I need to write the regular expression that's going to find these commas. Well, in regular expressions, there's a meta character that's a caret. And that's, uh, on your keyboard, it's shift and six. Some people might call it a hat, but it's the little thing that's pointing up. Uh, and the name for it, again, is a caret. And whenever you have a caret at the beginning of a string within regular expression, that means that the match has to be at the beginning of the string. So the string can't be anywhere else, or the match can't be anywhere else besides at the beginning. So the pattern is at the beginning, and then we find a comma. And so by using that caret, we're going to find all the commas, but we're only going to find the commas that are at the beginning of the string. 
the other commas that are elsewhere in the string are not going to be found by this. And then when we find those commas at the beginning of the string, again, we're going to replace it with nothing. So let's run this, and I believe this will be the solution here. And there we go. Exactly as the original questioner wanted, we're removing all of the zeros. We're not touching the zeros that he didn't want, and that's the solution. So uh, if this doesn't help make the case for you, if you're interested in learning regular expressions, I highly recommend you do it. Again, I'll have other comment coming on that in the future. I hope you've seen just how easy this solution was. I hope I've explained it to you well enough. And I hope you liked this video. And if you did, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And I hope you'll come back and check for more videos in the future. But for now, this is SQL Dan saying good evening and thanks for watching.